Hello everybody. I've got an update on Tiny Tears. She's had her spa day and we cleaned up her outfit and I made her a little diaper. So see there the little buttons. She got the heart buttons. This is another Tiny Tears from the same year. As you can see they got the same hands. It's the same sculpt. Only this doll has a different face. She's got hair. These guys have the molded hair. It's it's basically the exact same sculpt. Uh, this is a harder plastic. This is a little softer. But she's all cleaned up. She's had her spa day. I might make her a little hat to go with this. But there she is. I don't think she needs really any work. Maybe her lips pinked up a little bit, but that's about it. And I've ordered the Folk Art Outdoor Matte Finish, All-Purpose Finish, because I'm working on the other F&B. That one is currently being cleaned up. I tried the pimple cream trick. It did not work. But that doll is over by the sink, all just soaking out a little bit, trying to get that pimple cream off. But like I, I've been telling people, I've been going to Lancaster. A friend of mine, Edna, hi. I've been visiting her in Lancaster and stopping off at all these wonderful little stores. <clears throat> and I picked up this. It's a this is an antique. If I can get it open with one hand, it's hard to open with one hand. There we go. This is the antique sewing box, and it had all of these wonderful little pieces in it. This this piece I picked up at the Cracker Barrel Farm Antique Mall out in Paradise, Pennsylvania. And this was in here too. This is a sewing kit. Oops, gonna want to close on me. There we go. And that's what you would get in an antique sewing kit. They would call it a Notions. I believe it's on here somewhere. Isn't that just even a, the tin is beautiful? Notions. But this is how you used to get a sewing kit. Isn't that just beautiful? That is just perfect for sewing. And here's the... There it is. 3371 Lincoln Highway, East Paradise, Pennsylvania. And it gives you this. There's, there's actually a very nice map in here of all the places and things you can go. There's also a doll outlet there. But this opens up into a map. Now you see here, if you want to go to number 80, the Stonehouse Antiques, you would find 80. Where is it? There it is. So they even give you a map to directions to all these other wonderful antique stores out there in, in Pennsylvania. Oops. What did we buy there? <laughs> I was very naughty. This is a little hat, vintage, and here is the little outfit. Yes, babies used to wear these. See, so it's got the little snaps at the bottom. This one was for a boy. And this is what a little boy would have worn. I would say maybe 60s, 70s. I'm not quite sure about the year. There's The tag was cut out. And I also found this. This is a lovely handmade... You could tell this was handmade. It's very well starched as well. It's got that beautiful embroidery on there. If I could get it to unfold, there we go. Not quite sure. It looks like um a bird drinking out of a little fountain. But if you look at the buttons, it's got the band here. 
and it's got the little buttons at the bottom. There's no snaps on these. You could see this was handmade. Beautiful. And I got this. This one cost me, I believe, $2, and the little green outfit was 6 But <clears throat> we'll save the best for last. These are Adorables by TV Booties. Aren't they? Pe th those are just precious. They are very precious. Ooh, what was, oh, she's sitting on it. And this is a simplicity pattern for crocheted Christmas ornaments. Two dollars. And these are the type you would crochet them and you have to starch them. That you would put on a cone and starch it. And you'd have to lay the wings flat to starch them and who do we find here <laughs> she is a fairyland saucy walker doll and i believe she was 28 dollars and she has her outfit with her uh, gypsy wants to come over but she, everything's in her way look at the, she's got all her little fingers and toes and she's got her stockings, her underpants. And she's got her little slip on here. Oop, I don't want it to tip over. But there is her slip. The little border on the bottom, beautiful. She's got one little spot, but I'm going to try to get that out. And she's got her shoes, the Fairyland shoes. They are marked Fairyland on the bottom, if it focuses. There, there it is. Fairyland Toy Productions. And her eyes stay in the one position. They don't go flirty. But when she, she does walk, she, she will walk. I don't have a flat surface to put her on right now, but her walking mechanism works. Her crier does not work. But with my F&B doll, I also have a broken crier, so that crier's out. I may try to fix that. I will see if I can fix it. Oop, don't fall over. But also in Lancaster, there is a lovely place called Kitchen Kettle Village. They do sell doll clothes there, fabric of all kinds. The food is wonderful there. You can buy the um, Amish butter cheese and their sausage. But if you go around the corner, there is a large fabric store there. Ooh, the name of this store. The store. Uh, Lancaster Yarn Shop, where I bought the yarn. This is real wool. I was very naughty in Lancaster. I've made a couple of trips there. I, I bought two of these and two of these. Now, I would take pictures, but there are a lot of Amish people walking around and riding the buggies in the street, and they do not like their pictures taken. So I do respect that. I will not, I, I don't do any videoing or, or picture taking there because I know the Amish, they really don't like it. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> Just wanted to catch everybody up on what I've been up to, which is no good, but there is also a doll outlet out there. We were on our way back from the Cracker Barrel Antique mall, and when I say it's an antique, they, they say antique mall, it's a mall. There are literally aisles and aisles of beautiful, beautiful antiques. And I was very good. I did not buy the little Gerber baby in the box with, for $60. I wish I could have. But I think we did very well. <laughs> I love these saucy walkers, just the face on them, the eyes. Just the look on their little faces. I love that. But I may go to the doll outlet. I'm hoping to go Monday. <laughs> but if you are in Lancaster, I know a lot of people want to take pictures out there. The Amish really don't appreciate it. But it is beautiful countryside. There's a lot of cows. The, when the cornfields were green, oh, that was beautiful. And then, of course, you see the... The horses pulling the uh, harvesters and things, and they, oh, it is, it, it's wonderful. If you ever get to visit Lancaster, 
just enjoy. It's so beautiful. All right, everybody. Have a great day.